Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2. Last time we left off, we defeated a... Uh, Man Manoblos? Manoceros? Man what, what, what was it? It was it was something. It was something spooky that I killed. Uh, a Manoblos. There we go. Yep, that was it. Yeah, we defeated one of those thingies. And it was interesting. It was interesting. We... Can't quite make the weapon for it, but that's fine. We also still have five minutes and 30 seconds left on our old uh, buff that we had. Um, so we also made this new armor last time, and now we, I believe we are actually gonna go fight the camouflage monster, which is like a Basarius, I believe it was called. But we do have to go over here and hit up you, because I did get some bottle caps. Now the question is, what in the world do I want? And logic says I would want that. So, oh wait, wait, wait! No, I know. I want this first and foremost. Thank you. So breaker M and cold resistance. We won't equip it yet. I want to see how it stands up to some of my other ones. Don't care about getting some armor. I mean, I don't know. Getting these just feels kind of busted to me. I don't know why. So I don't like quite want to get it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Um, I feel like, I don't know, let's, let's just get these things, just so they're, they're out of my hair. Uh, boom, and boom, there we go. So we have all the money things, so now we can actually just get some stuff. Let's get, uh, a scarf. I like the scarf. The scarf will probably look pretty good on, uh, Naviru. So, let's go over here and put our scarf on our little, uh, our little friend. And then we'll go back out into the world and see what we can accomplish today. I think I also need to turn in some quests. You need to wear something, Naviru. I didn't want to say anything, but you're naked. You were super naked. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not as cool as I thought it would look. It looks more, I don't know, you kind of look like you belong in Hercules. I don't like it. I didn't know it was going to be across the, the thing. I thought you were actually going to wear it like a scarf. This looks kind of dumb, but whatever. You can wear it, I suppose. For now. I didn't think it was going to look that dumb. I thought you were actually going to wear it as a scarf. Because then it looked kind of cool, but no, you're wearing it as like a weird sash. So, whatever. Uh, Lunar Luck. We haven't done this today. Bop. Always with the crescents. Always. But hey, we got a, a big barrel bomb. And we can pray for... Oh, we got new stuff. Uh, add 52 points to your battle results bonus. It makes reward, rare reward items easier to obtain. I think I'm gonna go for that. Just because it's like not a incredibly minute amount of uh, percentage. Like it's not like 1% extra chance to get rare items. That actually has like a tangible number that seems more useful than the other ones, so I don't know. I'll go with that one. Alright, and subquests. Were there any of these I could turn in for some XP? Because I do have some baby monsters I just equipped, right? Yeah, Jam and Mufasa. So let's turn in like this one. Yeah. We got the meat and the garlic for it. We get a bunch of muscle meat that I really haven't been using at all, but hey. Um, and these are accepted now. I'm gonna do one more of these. Just to level you guys up a bit more. There you go. Cool. Bunch of that. Cause yeah, I mean, there's not much else to do with this raw meat, right? So I might as well just turn it in when I get it, for the most part. All right. So, ride caravan, we are going to this place? Har's Guy Rocky Hill? Oh, I just realized. I was I said last time, I'm like, oh, there's probably not very many areas because we already almost have all the Cadavan things. It says page one out of one. So no, there's gonna be more than one area, which I'm honestly down with because just one more area felt like too short, so. Uh, I'm very, very happy with that. Cool. Let's uh, go see what we can accomplish here. Uh, pick that up, please. Thank you. For some reason, it wasn't picking it up, and I could not figure out why. 
Alright, so that thing is hiding here somewhere. I do have to uh, murder another Tetsukabra. Oh, hi. Well, let's check you out, why don't we? Mr. Rare Monster Din. You maybe a Tetsukabra Din? It's down there. Doesn't really look like much. Oh, no, it's a lot. Never mind. It's like the whole area. And that's just a way to get back up top here. Oh, hey, one of you. I don't really need to fight you, Arzeros, so I'm just going to avoid you for now. Hmm. What else we got hiding around in here, though? Well, it doesn't really look like a lot, to be fair. Maybe I should just go ahead and prioritize getting to the end of this place. Yeah, that might be the best. It doesn't really look like there's much of interest going on here. Oh wait, there's a, a treasure chest back here. And you'll go down super fast, big guy. So I don't really have to care if I'm fighting you. I think you were weak to fire, actually, now that I think about it. Um, so I should be using my other thing, but you're not really weak to pierce, so doesn't uh, apply. Oh, but wait, yeah, I'm not using the fire one anymore because we got that new uh, the new gun thing because I'm using this set of armor which gives me non-elemental damage boost. Show me your skills. So that's why we're running this thing right now. Big damage. Yeah, sorry Arzuros. You're getting kind of messed up, friend. And right on. Yeah, sure, we can... We can go nuts. Alright. Just completely overkill this poor thing flailing on the ground. Let's go. Poor Arzuros. Positively claudacious. Thank you, Naviro. Great pun. So, I wonder... That felt really easy. It's gotta be like next level or some shit that we can just fast forward through those fights. Alright. Uh, oh, that's how you get over there to that treasure. Alright, alright, I got you. Um, change to Mufasa. Let us go! What you got for me, treasure? Probably not anything super great. Since you're just in a... Yeah, my charm, it's pretty good. Just a straight up damage increase. Why not? And uh, I didn't want to do that. I actually wanted to switch my monsty back to uh, our boy Reptar. Cool. So let's go ahead and get out of here. After I grab that rare shroom. All right. We do have to fight some jaggies, so I might fight these guys. I've got to go past them anyway, so. I feel like I'm gonna have to fight them no matter what. Um, uh, I need to use speed on you. And you are weak to this. And if I could get Reptar to, yeah. Cool. So now we should get a double. Babloosh. Almost dead. I'm quite tanky. Alright, and big guy's technical, which means we need to power you. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go with that. Skadoosh. And that Jaggy should be dead? Yeah. Alright. Well, there's uh, one of the Jaggies we gotta kill down. For that little baby quest we can turn in. Okay, you're gonna lose that. Send in Dandelion. Mufasa and Jim aren't really ready for battle yet, I don't believe. Um, so let's... Oh, I switched to you. I don't know why I switched to you, actually. You're technical. We needed uh, our other boy, but whatever. Now I can use um, this. I'm kind of tired at the moment, so my brain's probably just uh, a bit futzy. Bluey. Now it's really mad. 
Now your speed. Oh, I'm not in a good emotional, or not emotional, mental state <laughs> to be hitting that button that fast. Okay. Uh. So now, now we do need technical. Now we do. So you're not targeting us, so we're not going to get a head-to-head -head or a double attack here. So let's just go ahead and use this. Kabloosh. And that's a... Yup, there we go. Alright, Great Jaggy. Go down. Get a bunch of XP for Jim and Mufasa. There we are. Cool. Cool. Alright, and now we can progress this way. Yeah, we gotta go up and over here to actually get out of this rare monster den. And it looks like we gotta fight an Arzuros on the way. Hi, big guy. Sorry I'm gonna have to do you like this. Uh, yup, so hit him with the speed. Yup, looks good to me. Double. Big damage. And, uh, here's more big damage, although I should have switched weapons because we switched a different part of your body. And Cold Blast. We knocked down on the ground. Give him a power shot. And sure, right on. And give him a good old Velasa Crush. I'm impressed. Alright. Cool. Not quite a level up for Jam and Mufasa, but it's fine. I feel like I'm way over leveled for like Arzuros and Jaggies at this point. Hell, even Tetsukabras feel kind of weak. But that's probably just because I did, like, all of the side stuff before actually moving forward with the story. But it's what I do in every game. If it just so happens to put me above the level curve, then... Oh well. Alright, what do we got? Damn it, I always forget I gotta get off. Alright. Uh, I think that's a... Palumu. Mm-hmm. Oh. Kinda stinky. Yeah, let's get out of here. Is this an Arzuros? Or is this a Ludroth? I think it's a Ludroth. No, Ludroth looked different. This is an Arzuros. No? Burning Wyvern? Oh, it's a blue Kutku. Never mind. I was completely wrong. Thanks for the stone. Hey, big guy. You wanna go? You die surprisingly fast. It's actually kind of nuts how fast you die. Big old killer strike. Get a sync attack with you. 510 damage. Um, no. Don't do that, Reptar. You idiot. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. No attack for you. 369 damage. Yeah, these guys go down pretty easily. Which is funny, because when I first saw them, I was like, wow, that thing looks terrifying. But, no, they're not so bad. Ride. Man, I feel like Reptar has probably gotten the most play of anything in the game so far, just because he's... The only speed critter we've gotten access to, and we've had him since the beginning of the game. Well, not this one in particular, but this species. You know what I mean. Alright, well, we might have needed more Tetsukabra stuff, but I know I needed to kill at least one of them for a quest, so... Now that we've done that, I can avoid the rest of them and be pretty good. That's the Everden we went in last time, right? Yep, sure is. Alright, so give me that, and give me that. Alright, what do we got up here? Okay, let's do it! We're gonna rock this monster's world! There's some telltale signs to distinguish a real boulder from a camouflaged basario. Stay alert. Okay, there's a monster den to go in right there, but... Eh. Some telltale signs, eh? Hmm. 
I wonder what the signs are. I'm just getting stones from these right now. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Super telltale about them right now. Looking, uh, looking pretty simple so far. Okay, well, it's obviously that way, right? Uh-huh, and there's some stuff this way. Just excuse me. Just want to go check out what this is. Okay, there's just a whole ass fence blocking this. Okay. Interesting. Didn't expect that. Go away, you guys. Don't want to fight you. I wonder what kind of monster than you are. Probably one of these, right? Alright, is this just gonna... Basically, my whiskers are tingling. Something around here is fishy, buddy. Alright, which one are you? Oh, you don't have moss on you. That would be the sign. I guess. Nope, this isn't the rock we're looking for. Oh, I didn't know I was... Watch out, something's here. I, di I didn't know I was making a choice there. Did we just get a sneak attack on us because I chose the wrong one? Wow, we did. I didn't know that was a choice. I just wanted to loot the stuff. Alright, well, you're technical, so we need to use power attacks on you. Um, unfortunately, our power attacker is only level 9, so this might be a little bit hairy. I'm gonna... Okay, yeah, you were really only weak to this, right? They said swords wouldn't really work. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna switch Lu uh, Ludroth in because I feel like this thing's probably weak to water. So it'll be a good idea. And we get another double. This thing just feels ridiculously tanky. Like, it's kind of nuts. Okay, you are weak to water. Good. That's what I was uh, thinking slash hoping for. Alright, no poison gas for you, nerd. 47, flee. How can it move so fast with a body that big anyway? Man, this thing really likes to run away. Kind of obnoxious. Why are you gonna run away from me, dude? I mean, I know I'm trying to murder you and all that. Got away. More than likely it's hiding among the rocks again. Oh well, guess we'll have to find it again. Okay, so. Now we know. Don't try to loot the stuff. Because the game doesn't want you doing that. It's just stones, but I don't know. That's it's a resource, right? So I thought maybe I'd want it. Uh, okay, that's not the way. I was thinking. I was like, wait, does that go to that treasure chest that I see on the map? But no, that's the that's a different place. Oh, hey, I gotta kill some jaggies, and this will not be a hard fight at all. So, um, yeah, I'll just let you handle that. Go for it. Gonna go a double attack over here. Kabloosh. It almost killed it. Right. And yeah, now I gotta switch to the old Zuragong. I haven't really been using the uh, healing things with the um, what's my columns yet, but I mean I've used them a little bit, but I don't really think the. Uh, hammers would be any more useful. They were higher damage, I think, but I haven't really been, I, I wasn't u ever using the hammer abilities either, either because you had to win head to heads to get it. So I at least feel like there's a chance I'll use the hunting horn abilities. But it seems like I'm mostly just sticking to swords and stuff. Impressive display of kinship. Yeah. And maybe the Hunting Horn abilities get better as we go on, but I haven't really had much of a reason to have to use it that much. Alright. Yup. Give me. Thank you. Sometimes you can just run right over it and pick it up. Aha, it looks like there's a Catavan stand. Yeah. Ooh, there's a rare uh, monster den back there, too. Okay. Um, can we ignore this. Some of these rocks seem a little strange, yeah. Uh, I guess we don't have to ignore it. We can just fight this and then go deal with uh, that uh, rare monster den afterwards. 
Alright, I know which one it is, you little jerk. Come here. Not getting the drop on me this time. It'd be funny if we got, like, a Basarius part, if we picked the right one. I'm not letting you get away this time. Alright. Are we actually not, or is it just gonna run away again? Alright. Mufasa, get out here. You just look so cool, I love you. Alright. Okay, we're actually targeting different spots now, and it's actually taking part damage. So yeah, I don't think it's getting away this time. If you can break through its stomach's outer shell, you'll expose its vulnerable underside. Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside, huh? Wow, you know all kinds of cool stuff. Save the compliments for later. Concentrate on the battle. Well, I don't think I want to... I, I mean, I want to break every part, so we'll get to stomach when we get to stomach. I think. Um... Why are you, none of you, using power attacks? Um, yeah, go ahead and... High chance to lower speed and thunder defense. Let's just use this one. There you go. And now we should get a double. There we are. Big damage there. You're going for the wings. So are you. So you guys are prioritizing the wings while I'm prioritizing the, uh... Uh, I think it was horns or tail. The weapons don't work. Try using a barrel bomb. They inflict damage regardless of monsters' defenses. And they advice to me. Bombs away. Big barrel bombs. Yep. So... Heavy damage to a target, inflicting burn for three turns. Set it up and move away. Yep. So let's use that on the head. Kabloosh. Okay, so it's just... A pretty good amount of damage. I thought it would do more damage to uh, the part than it actually did. Because I think that was the main reason you used them in uh, World, was to mostly blow up monster parts, although they did do a lot of damage as well. Alright. Just keep wailing, just keep wailing, just keep wailing, wailing. Alright, so... You're not doing the correct thing, Mufasa. So, do an aqua shot. I'm gonna once again hit with this. I don't think we need to heal up or anything. It's honestly not getting a lot of attacks. Kabloosh. Breath blast. Oh no. Uh, just kind of wiggle the sticks. Or I think it's only one of the sticks, but I wiggle both of them. Alright, so let's ride on. So we need to use a power attack on you. I'm just gonna build up my kinship meter and just wreck this thing with the level 3. The bluey. Yes, we're gonna get a level 3 right here. There we go. No, you don't. Okay. Ooh, and you were weak to that. Um, okay. Well, now we're gonna go ahead and use our kinship skill, level 3. So let's see what this looks like. Thank you for the heal. Appreciate it, Alwyn. Moonsault Splash. Ooh. Bang! Ooh, that was big damage. Jeez. Yeah, and I think it, like, lowered its defense or something? It has some kind of... Oh, wait, no, it has increased defense. I think, is what that is. I think it buffed itself. Alright, well, let's keep, uh, wailing on you. This will be another double. Alright, let's speed battle back up now that we've seen, uh, our new ability. Alright, we're about to break two cards. Give him another aqua shot. Thank you. There we go. Now we can work on the wings. I just want to get all of the monster parts that I possibly can. Okay, now... Hmm, I want to... I was going to say you're probably power, but also there's been these moments where it's like, it's surprisingly fast to be something so big, so it might be speed too? Um... I'm going to guess you're going to be power now, though. So, let's go with that. 
Rock Shield, or you're just using that. All elemental defense up, that's fine. I'm not really using very many elements. Whoosh, whoosh. All right. Mm. Are you still going to be using the same type of attacks? Or was that just basically to get you to do that? I'm gonna guess you switched to power. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Seems like most of the time when they do that, it means they're doing something, they're gonna have like different types of moves. Mission complete, phew. Now I can sit on any rock I want without worrying about it coming to life. It, there's probably still more, but our little game of hide and seek is over too. Yay, big XP. Cool. And we finally got some of these shell webbing poison sacks and macolite ore. Cool. So there we go, we've finally taken one of those bad boys down. Phew, that was a close one. Looks like you're getting stronger. And we tracked down the mystery monster to boot. Now the elders sure to admit we've got what it takes. Eh. Let's head back and tell them all about it. He'll probably be like, oh no, now go kill an Anjanath with your bare hands or some shit. Alright, so... Good stuff there. Can't bury... Or no, girthy garlic, sorry. Alright, let's see what's in here. Maybe it's, uh... Our, our big rock boy there. Or it's a Tetsukabra Den. Uh, I don't really have to fight any more of you guys, I don't think. I've got a, plenty of your stuff, so... Later, friend. Ah, uh, you can't jump. Oh, is this really just a dead end? Well, that's unfortunate. It looks like this Tetsukabra might get the last laugh, actually. Because its girth is taking up most of the... Okay, no, we managed to make it past it. It was a girthy boy. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. Okay, that's where the egg is. This was not a very big rare monster den. Which I'm fine with. I'm not complaining. Alright. And then there's a golden boy over here. Light crystal. Okay, so let's get in here and see what kind of egg we got. Doesn't look like there's a monster. Looks like there are no monsters. So what do we got then? Looks like we got some gold bones over here. Monster bone L, that is good. Boom, more bones. And boom, bitter bug. All right, what do we got? That's a rare right off the bat. Kind of stinky, don't you thinky? It's 100% normal weight. Sure that's the egg you want? Mm. And it said kind of stinky. I wonder if we could get something and it's a 100% normal weight. No, nah, let's just go with this one. Let's just go with this one. I don't know if this is a good decision or not. He just said it was kind of stinky, but... I don't like taking the chance of going for something even better and then getting something worse. I also haven't had very many, uh... instances of getting something that's better than kind of stinky, don't you thinky? Usually that's, uh... Navarro's best, uh... response for me. I think he's had one that's like, oh man, this one reeks, but... That's it. Alright, so we could go over there, but I think we're just going to go ahead and head back to the village now. Or wait. Is that all this leads to? Huh. There's still some treasure chests I haven't gotten. But we'll, we'll probably be back over here later, so whatever. Let's just, let's just go back to, to a village. All right, got anything to turn in here? Yep, murdering a Tetsukabra. New gene slots. And some aloe leaves. Uh, yep, we got those. And we could turn in another one of these. Let's grab that again. All right. 
Nothing super crazy going on there. Let's go hatch our new babies. See what we got. The stable paw. Okay, so it's two of the exact same things, and I'm guessing these are blue... Cuckoos? Yeah. Two attack and two defense. That's pretty good. Okay. Two attack, two defense is not bad. Marginally boost attack at 50% HP or less, and boost fire damage somewhat. Okay, not bad. What about you? Two water attack? What? That doesn't seem good. Negates burn and marginally increases max HP. Okay, I think the other one's better. So we'll probably get rid of you, uh, the second one. So... Yeah, you're the good one. This one right here. The rest are pretty middling, all things considered. Uh, yeah. But you have a rainbow. That's what I like about you. Oh wait, you have a... Do you have a bingo? Yeah, because you got a rainbow gene. Tackle gene. I guess, yeah, you do have uh, a successful bingo. So technical bingo. So we do 110% increased technical damage? Is that what that means? Because if so, that's really good, right? Well, I'll keep the really good um, blue cute coup. Just in case I ever want to use it. Um, and you guys are better than this Arzuros. So, what is your ability? Kin cost down, reduces the kinship cost of monsty skills. That would be good. And your ability was marginally increases crit rate. Uh, I might like this more. I don't know. And this Ludroth. Synchronize. Whereas mine uh, has a bingo. You have health up, uh, water soak, and water breath. Which gives us increased power attack damage. I'm guessing that's what that means. Once again, this hasn't really been explained to us yet. Uh, I think I'll just get rid of you. I need to free up some space here. Um, and I'll get rid of you. Uh, you're unique, so we're gonna keep you. I'll probably get a much better Aptonoth and Apseros at some point, but we'll keep those two. Uh, oh, but wait, which one of these am I using right now? Uh, okay, so now this one needs to be released. That's not anywhere near as good as this one. So let's release you. Um, we have this and this. Yeah, Jam is our new one, which you also have a bingo. You've got what appears to be technical, yeah. Cool. So we can probably safely get rid of you because you just have uh, non-elemental bingo, so increased non-elemental damage, which is fine, but I think the other one's better. Let's release you. And... This Arzuros is inferior to this one, I believe, so... Yeah, let's just go ahead and release you as well. And I don't know why I have this second... Kuku. Alright, just trying to lower the amount that I actually have in here. We also have this. Uh, yeah. I can't really tell which one to use better, so I'm just gonna release you. And I don't know why I have this other... Oh, that's Ranmar. Yeah, I can't release Ranmar. Ranmar's staying in the party no matter what. Alright. So, we did that. So, what else did I want to follow up on? Oh yeah, we got Basarios pieces, so I can probably upgrade some armor. Or weapons. Uh... Wait, I can upgrade you now? Oh, was I out of stuff? 
maybe? Or I didn't have enough money last time? Oh well, let's upgrade it. Here we go, our gun lance is level 3. Um, Zero Gong. We can upgrade you now as well. Oh, no, we can't because I'm out of money. But that's fine. I have stuff I can sell. There we go. So, let's upgrade our Zero Gong. I guess. I don't, I don't really see any uh, ones that are better than you. So, might as well just go ahead and upgrade it. So, there we go. All of our weapons are maxed. And uh, Tetsukabra armor is maxed already. And now that we have the Basaria stuff... Nope, I can't quite do it. I'm missing one. Thank you. How unfortunate. Oh well, let's get back up here. And see what you got for me. Elder, Zealot, we're back. And the monster? It was a Basarios disguised as a rock! You sure? Without a doubt. So, you ready to admit how great my buddy is now? I may have been there to support them, but they put a stop to the beast by their own power. They fulfilled their duty as riders admirably. Hmm. I trust Alwyn's judgment. What do you say, Elder? Then it would seem the time has come. Nya I knew you could do it, buddy! The rite of channeling is a secret ritual that helps draw out a monster's hidden strengths. By combining the power of two monsters, you can awaken your monster's latent abilities. Wait, can, by combining the power of two monsters, you can awaken your monster's latent abilities? Is this what we're gonna do with all of our monsters that aren't great? Can, are, fusion? Is that what you're saying we have right now? Do we have fusion? You will learn better if you try it for yourself. Come to the stables. Are we seriously? I didn't expect to get access to fusion if that's what this is, but that's the only thing I can interpret combining the power of two monsters as. I mean, cool if so. Well, let's see what they actually do. I feel kind of bad because they just released a bunch of my less interesting ones. Rite of channeling can awaken new skills by transferring genes. It's time. Select the Rite of Channeling. Rite of Channeling enables you to transfer genes from one monster to another, granting it new abilities. The Rite of Channeling can be performed at stables. Cool. Choose one monster to pass on its genes and another to inherit them. Select a monster to inherit the genes. So, I'm selecting who I want to inherit it. Um, so you have health up. Uh, I would like a like a strength based one right here but that would just increase your strength damage which isn't actually all that great um never mind i don't think i want to mess with you uh how about reptar reptars is kind of a mixed bag as well um do i probably move fanny uh we could get a, another technical up there at the top to give you increased technical damage. Yeah, let's go with that. Next, select the monster to pass on its genes. Choose carefully. The monster you select will leave you after the ride is complete. This time you can use my Aptonoth. Select this monster that will inherit a gene in which will channel it. The inheriting monster will be granted a new ability, making it stronger. The channeling monster will disappear after the ritual. Monsties currently in your party or added to favorites can't not be selected for channeling. Okay, so we can use your Aptonoth. Okay, well, your Aptonoth is very boring, sir. Has anyone ever told you that? Um, use my Aptonoth this time. No! I don't want to mess up Fanny. Fanny's pretty good. I feel like I just screwed up Fanny. By picking Fanny here, because I feel like Fanny had some good lineups for some increased technical damage, but I'm about to screw it up, and I can't go back and choose a different monster now. But I didn't know what kind of stuff you would have. Maybe it won't make me actually do it. Select the gene you wish to pass from the Aptonoth. Genes can be transferred to another posse if it has open gene slots. More slots can be opened with items by leveling up. First select the gene in the channel, next select an open gene slot. When a new gene is saved in the slot, the monster you will gain an ability. Yeah. Gene color indicates element, and pattern indicates type. 
Line up jeans of the same color or pattern horizontally, vertically, or diagonally for a bingo bonus that will make your monster even stronger. You can have multiple bingo bonuses in effect at the same time. Stack jeans of the same type to upgrade them and strengthen their effects. You can upgrade jeans a maximum of two times. Interesting. Okay, so... If I, like, put that there... Will that... Oh, wait, no, that actually won't upgrade it, so that's not considered an upgrade. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna put it right there for now. That's kind of screwing everything up. Wow, so we really do have monster fusion. Interesting. And I s potentially screwed my monster up, although I guess you can override it, so it's not permanent. Rider Channeling has awoken a new ability in your monster. The more powerful the right... The more you perform the right with your monster, the stronger it can become. Visit the stables anytime you wish to perform. Okay, cool. Okay, this is an interesting one. Mastering the right of channeling is an important milestone for any rider. This is gonna open all kinds of doors for you, buddy. You'll be able to go to new places, do new stuff. I can't wait to see where you go from here. Zellert, uh, sir. Hmm? Huh? What is it? It... it it's about the previous matter, sir. What should I do? You again. I'm no coward, sir. Really, I'm not. I know I need to go search for it, but... But... I'll go if I have to, but... I, I get so scared just thinking about it. Hey, what are you so freaked out about? My daughter lost a special stone in Alcala Cave a while back. She asked me to go and get it back for her. But there's a young Garuga in that cave. What am I supposed to do against a creature like that? Is that really all you're scared of? Well, no. It's also the idea of failing my daughter. How could I ever look her in the eye if I messed this up? If anything, that thought is even more scary. I see. Well, there's no need to fret, mister. We can handle the monster for ya. That should free you up to find the stone and get out safe, right? Wow, you mean it? That way I'll be able to face my daughter again. Sheesh, you're a real number one dad. What do you say we get this show on the road? Next up, I'll call a cave. Yan Garuga are awfully fierce. You shouldn't take them lightly. Yeah, I haven't even heard of them up until this point. Seem to be familiar with this area now. I'll call a cave is past the highlands. I'll mark it on your map. I have a feeling that guy's not going to get braver anytime soon. It's up to us to deal with the Angaruga. Okay, well, I want to mess with this Rite of Channeling some more. After completing numerous trials, you're finally granted permission to undergo the Rite of Channeling. A ritual that awakens the power of kinship. To further yourself as a rider, you decide to help out a Wyverian who came to Zellard with a problem. I mean, I thought there was probably going to be a way to usefully get rid of your monsters, either by, like, selling them or trading them or something like that, but... I didn't think basically monster fusion was going to be an option. But here we are. Um, use ritual items. Gene slots that cannot be unlocked through leveling up require a stimulant item for that monster type. Okay. So for you, for example, you don't even have one. All of yours are already unlocked. Fanny seems pretty damn good, actually. I don't even have to unlock your stuff. You're pretty, you're pretty set. Okay, well. So, who do I want to grab some stuff from? Does anybody have- ooh, you do. You do. You have... Uh, oh wait, no, that's a blue technical. I don't want that. I want a red technical. Uh-huh. And you have a merciless gene. I should probably keep you. Okay, but you have a red technical right there, the fireball gene. So if I got you leveled up and then put you over that one in the bottom left there, the head-to-head -head gene that I currently have, that would be good, right? That would be a good thing. And you, I gave you the healing gene, so you have heartfelt gift now, so you, the ability transfers as well, so I could make Fanny a healer if I wanted to, which is weird to think about. Alright, and you have harmony. 
kinship cost down. Okay, let's look at some of my other ones. So you. So I could give you at level 15, you're gonna learn maximum rollout. Um and you have health boost up S. Is there anyone that has like a blue strength symbol? Doesn't look like it. Okay, but now now we know. So that'll make this a little bit better. A little bit better. All right, all right, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. The rainbow gems seem very, very useful as well. Um, I'm kind of sad I got rid of some of my ones that I wasn't using that had rainbow gems now because... Rainbow jeans, sorry. Because those seem quite good. All right, but yeah, we can, uh, we can go get some new monsties now and they'll actually be pretty useful. And the ones I've named may very well just become our best ones now. Because you can, like uh, somebody in the comments said, you can kind of make anything a really good monsty if you do it right. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll pray for now. Because I am going to go back out and see if I can grab some stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use one of those because we don't have that much time left and we can't do that. So, um, let's head out. I actually think, though... There, that blue, uh, kutku, blue, uh, kutku that I just got, it unlocked something good once it got to level 8, right? So, I'm imagining you have to actually unlock the skill before you can just grab it, this fireball gene. So, yeah, you have the fireball gene S, so if I got that other fireball gene and gave it to you, that would be better. It's also a fireball gene M. So it's just straight up better. Okay, so we want to put you into the party. Um, we'll take out Fanny for now. Just long enough for us to level you up. So we can grab that fireball gene out of you and give it to Fanny. The only unfortunate bit is I do like Fanny. Uh, I mean, I do like the blue ones more than the red ones, but... What can you do? It's just a color preference. I like blue. More than red, at least. But Fanny's still cool. All right, so... Up there is where we've got to go to do something. Yeah, so let's go over here. And see what we can do. <clears throat> and I'll probably just start going in monster dens more when I see them now, because they don't technically have to be rare for you to get something good out of them. Oh, hello. Hey, guys. You guys want to go? You're just a couple of Ludroth, so you're going to go down pretty easily. Uh, oh, yeah. And you guys only take good damage from hammers. All right. Let's go douche. All right. That wasn't horrible damage. Double attack. Dead. And double attack. Dead. Cool. Now I just, I'm really just doing this to level up this uh, Kutku to level 8. So there you go. There's maximum attack. Yep. Cool. Neat O. And this will allow us to get all kinds of new skills on our monsties. This is a neat system. I'm actually really into this. So, yeah. Yep, we do have a monsty that will help us out here. Alright. Boom. 5,000 zenny. That's actually quite nice. I needed that. Alright. Well, back on our merry way. Uh, I see a rare up there. Should try to get up there. Um... First, let's switch to you. But yeah, it looks like we gotta climb to get up there. No, we just gotta go over there and over there. Okay. Hey, you guys, leave me alone. I'm going in here. I'm just gonna go steal some eggs real quick. Alright, and yeah, this is a short little dungeon, it looks like. Five potions, thank you. 
Yeah, now's the time when I want to grab a bunch of monster eggs because you never know which ones are going to be really, really good. There's no monster here, so we can just go ahead and yoink this one. Alright, what you got for me? Uh, didn't really smell like much. Come on. I know this is just a regular dungeon, but... Sometimes they have good stuff. And they're all gone. And there's a Ludroth. Alright, you are running straight at me as well. Okay, I guess we're fighting you. Well, luckily you're not super hard. Um, oh, cool, we can just quick finish you. Alright, so we are at the point where we can quick finish these guys now. I wonder if it was a story moment then. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if it was a story moment that made that happen. Or if we did just happen to hit the, l uh, the level that we needed to be able to quick finish those guys at the perfect time. Because it seems like we're kind of wrapping this area up, maybe? And we may be getting ready to go to a new area. Uh, burning wyvern egg. Cool. Alright. And yeah, that's where we need to go. I was kind of coming up here because I was hoping to grab a... Uh, Catavan, but I see there's no real point in doing that. So let's just uh, try to get over there to that rare monster den this episode. We can actually make this a little bit faster if I just teleport back down here. Yeah. All right. I'm feel I feel like things are going to get uh, a bit of, a bit more interesting in the mon uh, the monster department now that we have access to this gene therapy, if you will. Uh, and that monster. Oh no, did I make the- by fast traveling, did I make the rare monster didn't go away? I might have. That might have been a massive mistake. Okay, and now there's one over there where I just came from. Alright. Yeah, I think the one I was looking at went away. I do believe. So let's just run back over to this one over here. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it up there anymore. So it does move when you uh, fast travel. So you can't just fast travel to get to a rare monster den that looks good. Oh well, at least this one's in a pretty convenient spot. Hi nerds, since I can just so I can just quick kill you and it's free XP. There you go. Especially since we have that quest uh, for killing some Joggy. Cool. If you can quick finish them, I wish it, like... I mean, the quick finish is very convenient already, don't get me wrong, but it kind of makes me wish it was just like in Paper Mario, where you just con uh, come into contact with the enemy in the map, and it doesn't even make you load into combat. It's just like, okay, they lost. Here's your parts. But, I don't know. Maybe some people would want to still fight them normally without using the quick finish, so the option's still there if they want that. Uh, quick finish. Yep. Yeah, most of the things we can just quick finish now. Cool. Alright, the... Yep, you have what I wanted you to get. And we can we can give that to Fanny. Which is such a dumb name, but... Oh well. I warned people I wasn't good with names. Whew. Doesn't really smell like much. 100% normal weight. Looks boring. We smell like much. Are you sure this is a rare? Okay, here we go. Kinda stinky. They're all gone. What is this? Is this the, uh... Apseros thing? Cause it's like brown and white. Or tan and white. Huh. Yeah, I'm not totally sure what that is. Oh, no, it's a burning wyvern. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I don't need to kill any more of you guys, so you just stay over there unless you want to die. I am going to go grab this treasure chest, though. And whatever this is. Oh, yeah, I need to make more traps. That's right. Ooh, heart churros. So, let's go ahead and combine really quickly. Um, I definitely have the stuff for the sleep and poison knives, but those haven't really been working out for me. 
Uh, okay, I may mostly just want to make sure I have one of each of those. And uh, this is just you guys, right? Yup. Just you boring idiots. Alright. So, over here. Whoop. What is that noise? Right there. Right there. Alright. Hit it all up. I guess we can go and get one more uh, egg from over here. And then hopefully there will be a catavan up in this area ahead. That we can use to get back over there fast and then I'll go back to town and turn some of these things in. See if we can get some cool new genes on our uh, friends here. And now that it's sort of been explained to me, I think I have a better idea of how the bingo system works, so... Ooh, I would love an egg of you. That would be great. Alright, come on, something good, something good. Can really smell... Ooh! Kinda stinky, and it's light. Let's, let, we're out of here. As long as it's kinda stinky, that's good for me. Kinda stinky's all I'm looking for. Yeah, it does suck that I got rid of so many of my monsties. Like, right before getting the ability that's like, now you can get rid of your monsties while keeping some of their abilities. I could not have timed that better. Uh, we do need to kill like two more of you, right? So, yeah. Sorry, you guys. I apologize and all that, but uh... I, do, I did have to kill a few more of those, I believe. So now we can go turn that quest in. Level up a bit more. And now I'll have to stop hatching new monsties that I believe are better and switching over to them, and then it resets their level and all that stuff. All that farce is done. I just have a good monstie that I like, and I can just kind of upgrade it as the game goes on, which is a much better game gameplay loop, in my opinion. Rather than, oh, I got the new hotness, time to get rid of the old hotness and switch to this one. Alright, so... Is, it doesn't look like there's actually going to be a catavan in here. So maybe... I was wrong. Maybe I should just go ahead and get out of here. This just looks like it's going straight to the boss fight and that's it. With no in between. So this would be a little bit of a cliffhanger, but I feel like it's a warranted one. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna go back. I'm not sure if there's gonna be a thingy in here or not. Wait, what's that green thing? Is that a, that's not a catavan thing, is it? Or is that an egg? What is that? Oh. Oh no, it's a cutscene. Hey, look! What's that feline doing in a place like this? And she's, uh, kinda cute, don't you think? What's got your tail, Alan? Is something the matter? It's nothing. This just reminds me of something that happened a long time ago. afraid of felines, are you? Of course not. It's just I... We're in trouble. This is a monster's den. <sighs> felines in danger! Things, but I'm glad you didn't get hurt. Why would you put yourself at risk like that? Risk? Uh, well, I didn't really think about anything, to be honest. 
This feline was in danger, and I did what felt natural. Weren't you scared? Of course not. It was just a monster. Just a monster? They can get pretty fierce when it comes to defending their territory. But they don't go around attacking for no reason. But come to think of it, that was the first time I took on a monster all by myself! Red, what am I going to do with you? Wow! So even Red didn't realize how strong he was getting sometimes. Humans develop so fast. But enough talk. We need to keep our wits about us. Right! Come on, buddy, let's go! See you later, kitty! So, so we're not going to talk about the random Red Riding Hood kitty that was just hanging out. We're not, we're not going to talk about that. I don't know. It seems like something we would talk about. Also, Red just really hates wearing shoes. Hates it, he does. Despises it, even. Wonder how many times he stepped on a rock. And that's, you know, just like, it'd be like stepping on an Ultra Lego. Without any shoes on. Alright, so let's go up to the stable and see what we can do with our uh, things now. So, hatch these. So what do we actually get? Okay. Mm, you don't seem super great. I mean, you at least have another one of the uh, fireball attacks. Ah, and you're a Vasarius. Okay. So we can actually get one of you guys, huh? Cool. And wait, your fire attack? What? Well, I didn't expect that to be the case. And you're just a Kurapeko. But you have some interesting stuff too. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So let's go do the Rider Channeling now. I might keep the Basarios because it's my only Basarius. I don't know who I'd replace with it though. But yeah, it's I'm a bit surprised that your attack was fire. Huh, weird. Okay, but uh right of channeling. So first we choose who's gonna receive it. So you had something I think I wanted. Rock gene. Medium. Active skill firecracker. Deal light fire damage to one enemy. Hmm. Whereas you... Yeah, you have the same thing. But, uh... You have... Fireball. Light fire damage to one enemy. High chance to inflict burn for three turns. So that's just... A, fireball is just a straight up better version of the firecracker ability. So I probably don't actually want that. Um... I'll still keep you guys though because you got a bunch of the purple ones. The dragon genes, the dragon element genes. All right, so let's go ahead and pick Fanny here. And yeah, there's nothing you can wait. What? Oh, because it, because they're in the party. I was like, wait, why can I use them? Uh, but yeah, let's put Fanny back in. Um, ride a channeling, boom. Use that, and use that, and so which one do we want? I think we want this. So if I did this, I would have 120% technical damage. If I did that, it wouldn't really change anything, but it would replace your fireball S with the fireball uh, M or whatever. Or does it like go together? I'm not sure. I feel like I should do this for the 10% extra increase. Yeah. Okay, so now you've got two bingo things. Bingo, bango, bongo. Big powered up cuckoo. Awesome. So, yeah, now you've got two bingos. Um, and someone else that I just hatched had something else that I wanted, I feel. 
Oh yeah, you had some red strength abilities, which I wanted. Oh, but it's... Oh wait, no, I don't want red. I want yellow. Or not... God. Blue. Sorry, I promise. I'm not colorblind. Um... So yeah, we want blue strength abilities. Yeah. Alright, so... It's interesting. Okay, we've got some... We've got some stuff to work on here for sure. But I think that'll do it for now. Fanny's slightly stronger and is in fact our strongest type, period. I wonder if there's anything interesting I could do with Reptar. Let's see. You... Mm. A lot of your stuff isn't great, Reptar, I'm gonna be honest. It, you, but you do have that rainbow gene. But I can't... I, and I can't get rid of you because that'd be awful. Um, and your ability here, Onslaught, yeah, it just gives you access to Killer Strike. Yeah, and you both have the S version of that. You have the Vicious Gene. Iron Wall, I don't really care about that. But if I gave you a generic, uh, Gene, ooh, okay, so... That blue Yon Kuku down there. So let's consume you. And let's take your piercing claws gene. And put it right there. Because that'll give you two bingos. To the top. It's not an ability I really want. But it's at least a damage boost. I feel like the ones I'm mostly using. I need to get those damage boosts. Because that's just straight 20% more damage for you. Since you're non-elemental. Hmm. And then we have this Basarios, which has a bunch of uh, red power stuff, which is not ideal, I feel, but whatever. Uh, what about you? Let's see, you got dragon stuff. You've got two completed paths there. Good old Reptar. Is there anything good I can grab from anyone else? I could grab just a basic... Uh, one of these genes. Uh, whoop, what did I- oh, I'm comparing you to that, okay. Uh, and Mufasa has that stuff going on. Oops, so if I grabbed you, I grabbed you. Um, I could grab... That gives me Divine Blessing, and yeah. I like that King Cost Down Water. But, it's, eh. I'm just gonna take this from you. And that'll complete this page for me. Even more non-elemental damage on Reptar. I know I'm just getting a bunch of basic nodes without much going on, but... I, I mostly just want to get all the damage boosts, like I said. So you should, whoops, um, gene info, bingo. So yeah, 125% increased damage you're getting right now. Cool. So if I do you, can I? Okay, no, we still can't get rid of Ranmar even like that. Darn. Um, okay. Uh, what are your abilities, dash? Yeah, light, non-elemental damage to all enemies. Light, non-elemental damage, high chance of crit. Marginally boost, non-elemental defense. Mm, and you have the Soothing Voice, store an ally's HP, and cures an ally of abnormal status effects, which not super into. Divine Blessing, very low chance of activation though. Toss, Iron Wall, Critical Eye. Yeah. I feel like if I'm gonna get rid of uh, something, it's gonna be you. So, yeah, Absaros. Let's go ahead and do a Rite of Channeling uh, with you. And I want this Iron Wall gene. Monsters can have more than one of each gene. Oh, you already have it. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, that's a problem. 
All right, well, I'll just get a different one. Um, ground trimmer, onslaughts. Hmm. And what did you have? Soothing voice or cure an ally of abnormal status effects. Stores a good amount of HP, sure. Sure, let's let's make Reptar a healer, why don't we? There we go. And channel. So there we go. We've got we've got that completed. Good. So Reptar will do a lot of extra damage now. Beautiful. Initiate certificates. So yeah, we've almost gotten every one of the things for you. 130% increased damage with non-elemental. And if we got something good there in the middle over that vicious gene, we would have uh, something even better. So, Puke Puke, you have anti-blind. The problem with you is you have two locked slots, which I'm like, eh. Might just want to get a better Puke Puke. I definitely want to keep using uh, Ludroth. I just like Ludroth a lot. Unfortunately, the only problem is not very many things have blue uh, stuff here. So I guess I just need to go grab a bunch of Ludroths to, to get a bunch of blues. Um, is there anything on Puke Puke that I would want on somebody else? Anti-blind and light non-elemental damage. Yeah. All right. I think I'll mess with this some more in the next episode. We've at least buffed uh, Fanny and Reptar up a fair bit. Not sure what I want to do with Dandelion. Um, I'm just not super sure. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, I think we should probably go ahead and end this episode off because... I could sit here for a very long time messing with that stuff until I felt comfortable with it. So let's go ahead in here and hit up the save point. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>